Welcome to DevStream 180. We are so glad you're here. This is our last DevStream before we I don't like have this TennoCon 2024. <laughs> oh, my old heart. It's so sad that you just died of me. It's time for Jade Shadows. It is time, well, to talk, to talk yes. about it. Yes, but before we oh. do, we have a little teaser trailer. <laughs> oh, we're, we're just We're, we're just going to jump into it and then we'll talk about it. So, Rue, play the clip. Okay. Base. But the one character that we really have always wanted to come back to since the new war yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah. was definitely, definitely. Um, the stalker. So this is the natural post new war point for the stalker. So yeah, and I think you mentioned last upstream that um, kind of the runtime for it is 25 minutes. Don't you feel silly? Right. Jade herself, Pablo. Let's Jade talk about herself. her. Let's talk about her. Hello, hello. I'm here to show you Jade, our latest Warframe, and what she is all about. Uh, support frame, she has protection for, for allies, she has debuffs against enemies, and then she packs a punch with her fourth. Oh, she's the one, Cole! She has two mod slots that are dedicated to auras. So basically you can put any two auras that you want, you can just throw them in there. Uh, both of them uh, increase the capacity. <laughs> Her first ability creates this zone over here, and as you can see, that's where that is. And while I'm inside the zone, you can see in the upper right, I have that little indicator there. That means that I'm taking healing over time as long as I'm inside. And for enemies, when you throw it uh, to them, basically it'll deal damage over time, and it will mark them with your passive, which is what I was talking about earlier, which basically increases how much damage they take from all sources. <laughs> For her second ability, she has three different auras that you can select from. So you can see my overshields are growing, 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 growing. So I just switched to this one, which this increases my ability strength. And as you can see, I actually kept the overshield. So you can actually kind of do some strategy things there. The other aura, which is uh, weapon damage increase for this one. For her third ability, any enemy that's on her sight uh, gets slowed down and gets their armor removed. So you can see. These guys now are moving quite slowly, and their armor is now gone. For the ally part of this ability, and I can just use my third ability, and I can revive them at a distance just by looking at them. And finally, she takes flight. As you can see, she moves kind of similar to Hildren, but way faster. Uh, she can move around quite a bit. This is actually an exalted weapon, so you can just shoot enemies with it, as you can see. Game mode. There is a new game mode coming. Mm -hmm. I think just the general concept we wanted to do with this game mode was what if Warframe had a vertical game mode? What if Warframe but up? Here we are. We're about to go up. Okay, success. success. So success. you and your squad need to coordinate and keep the elevator fueled. Uh, there's going to be uh, corpus attacks coming from all directions. They're going to have turret placements. You want to keep it powered and keep it moving. And up you go. Bumped up, and then at the end you just do like a very short. Uh, this uh -oh. is like two tiles of uh, Dodge scoring. The All right. So it's like hijack if it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> ouch! Wow. <laughs> Now we have Belly of the Beasts. Ordis has taken up spot in Larunda Relay and he wants you to help him. He is there waiting for you. As you play the clan operation game mode, you're gonna get some resources that you can contribute to Ordis for a personal goal and for a community Ortis goal. Ordis found a job. Ordis found a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. branching out. What the fuck is that? So as the community reaches the goals for this clan operation, you'll be able to unlock the next tier of Ephemera as a community goal. So you have the, yep. the Apex version, yeah. which is just incredible. And, and we talked about this last dev stream, yep. and we talked about it on a dev short, but the idea being to avoid burnout, we're letting you buy max two full arcane sets. <laughs> this so is good. the Pandaya skin. It was salvaged from the depths by none other than Hun Hao. 
Megan. We have four augments coming. Uh, we have Protea, Blaze Artillery Augment. We have a Sevagoth So Augment, the Degoth Grave Spirit Augment, and the Corvex Containment Wall Augment. The Beautiful, gorgeous Protea. Yeah, look, look at that. Oh, and it follows her around. <laughs> no problems there, right? Understandable. Status rework. A blast, basically, now when you get a proc on an enemy of blast, uh, after delay, that blast has like a secondary explosion that deals a percentage of the damage that you dealt initially. Or if you get all the way to 10 stacks or kill the enemy, then that uh, secondary detonation does a sum up of all the damage and does it in an AOE, so it hits enemies around it and it kind of can spread the blast. Um, what we did for Magnetic is a couple of different things. One is the damage uh, scaling that does now not only applies to shields, but also to Overguard. So now it's a very good tool against uh, Eximus in general. And when you break the shields or the overguard, it does a secondary damage of, uh, of uh, electrical status. Decided to revise Frost. Mm. Uh, the Warframe. The, the Warframe. So, curiously enough, Frost for the longest time really didn't apply that many. Like, he did apply quite a bit of, of cold procs, but not as many as you think. So, now we made it so that the freezing that he has is based on cold procs, nice. uh, which means that instead of the enemies just kind of staying in place, now they also get the debuff that increases how much crit damage you did. So, he has longer lasting cold procs from his abilities. Uh, and the, the duration of the freeze is now standardized across his abilities. So the, the globe, one long, long, long lasting uh, <laughs> request was that you could shoot from inside to out, but you could never shoot from out to in. So now you can shoot like that. You can shoot through the snow globes. Uh, request 10 years in the making, I remember. You did what? Armor increases based on how many enemies have cold procs around him. Yeah, is this a on the stealth cross. frost rework then? It kind of is. It sounds like you kind of buried the lead yeah. there. Freezing. I'm feeling hot. Hypothermia. 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 Arcanes. We have some arcanes cooking. We have one, two, three, five. And here they are. Any, Read. Any, any thoughts on these, Pablo? Uh, yeah, so this will be acquired in the new Ascension game mode and from uh, Good Lordis. And yeah. Um, quality of life, but of course, coming in this update as well. For the first heirloom launch of this year, it is uh, coming. Uh, it's launching Tenocon. at Tenocon. So at Let Tenocon. Me in. Yep. At Tenocon, you'll be able to get Ember Heirloom. Uh, it's launching the day of the show. This Ember Heirloom is going to be offered to you as a player in two ways. The first is the paid pack where you can spend, and this is in US dollars for currency, $24.99 to get everything on that list. Yep. Or you can go and get it for platinum in the market, which will stay forever. I've been staring at the, yeah. the uh, yeah. yeah, so this is her in, mm. uh oh. But look at this molten effect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, you're right. look, at, look at the yeah. effects. You see? I think that. Do you see it, Jeff? I am so impressed I see with it. this. I, I do, yes, are you seeing really, it? Let's really it. analyze this shader. <laughs> yeah. Can I please bite a chunk out of that ass? Oh, oh, oh. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.